Hey guys, it's a rough day. Rough day in the neighborhood. I'm off to the side because I don't want to show where I work at my company logo. So I'm off on against the lean. But how are you guys doing today? <sighs> Just getting off. It was, it was a long day. It was a long day. I'm about to snack in this car long. What are you doing? Oh, it's pouring, pouring. Down here in Connecticut. Pouring. Is that like distance this morning? Yeah, when I say I'm tired, sis is tired. I bet I just draw on my account since starting with orientation. So I started July 12th. What's that? August, September, October. Going into four months from orientation. Actually on the floor by myself, it's been almost three months yeah because i was like i was training for two weeks um yeah so orientation was two weeks i was training for two weeks so that's like a month in itself um then that following month i was by myself i mean following week i was by myself so all together on the floor by myself is going into it's going into three months but overall with the company it's been about four including like the orientation a clinical orientation on top of the two weeks i was training with someone so yeah like three weeks coming up or the, i mean three weeks three months off of them yeah. uh, three months my probation should be over if not almost over so um and yeah, the podiatry office I work in. He is really busy. Like, nah, stop. Well, it is, not, it seemed like it's nonstop stop because he has a lot of patience, a good amount. Well, it's, between like so they want you to have like 14 patients each like a.m. and p.m. so that's 28 all together and when you think about oh they seeing 28 patients that, that's not bad but you got to factor in each patient is there for 15, 15 to 30 minutes in the room for each patient for an eight hour day so already if you do the math that's going over the eight hours so being as follow-up and being at one of the locations, we have one room, every appointment is 15 minutes, regardless of what you're coming for. So, you learn the thing for 15 minutes, then he has to tell you what we're gonna do. I mean, like the plans to actually like, cause when you think of, well, well not when you think of everybody, but when I was in medical assistant school, they give us the, the soap after and then meaning like subjective, objective assessment plan. Subjective meaning basically with the patient's telling you in their own words, objective, um, basically what the um, provider is saying or the doctor is saying. Assessment is whatever they assess and whether they're seeing like far as like disease or what's going on with that person. And plan is the plan, what you're going to do about it once you assess the situation. So he's telling us the plan. We have to, he's the doctor, so he's signing off on these things. And we got to update on these things, whether they're sending them to physical therapy, whether they're sending them a referral somewhere, even though the referrals in our system and wherever they send it at is within that system. But sometimes it's health, it's healthcare. So there's a, 
you know it's ongoing. It's a lot of patients. Some things are gonna fall through the loophole. So it's up to us as the medical assistants and nurses to um, keep an update on this and on each patient. And it's a lot of patients. So you gotta factor in a 15 minute season in the room, doing what you gotta do after that, cleaning the room, then going on to the next patient. 28 patients don't sound like an, a lot to some people, but you gotta factor in the eight hour days we put in in dealing with the 28 patients and everything that has to go into each patient. So he's really quick and efficient. He's he's good. But it's been it's been a long day. And I had help in the PM, so that was awesome. I caught up on paperwork, so that was great. Well so at this location at or the other local because I'm at three different locations during a week both the same provider and one location which is today we have to do our all own like sterilizing instruments so we clean the instruments with the solution they um we mix up we scrub them we clean them up we steer we put them in an autoclave to sterilize to make sure they're not, not beyond up to par in order to because he's a foot doctor so he's he is clipping a lot of toenails um, he's doing things with the feet with those instruments. So it's up to us, the medical assistants, to sterilize the equipment on that day because there's no one else to do it. Uh, other locations, we actually have a person that does it for us. But today at this one, I had to do it. So I did that autoclave. And you got to factor in the 28 patients. Um, he do toenail clipping, so... Not everybody, not all the 28 patients, patients are going to get a clipping, but you never know. So you have to keep keep on it with the sterilizing the instruments. And being in the autoclave, it could take up to an hour to sterilize. So you just got to be great with time management. But today was one of those days, guys. I am tired. I was supposed to go out to dinner. You see, I'm at, I'm at the dollar store getting junk food, about to go home. And watch a movie or watch a good show on Netflix. So that's my spew for the day. I had to get it out to somebody. Thank you guys for watching once again. If there's anything you want me to talk about during my videos, just let me know. Comment down below. Subscribe. Please subscribe. I'm just starting out. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know about suggestions. I am open to suggestions. And again, this is Tiff Tiff. See you later. Bye.